today. I had to get a bottle of water before I started this because my mouth is a little dry. It's interesting how you always seem to catch me too right after I've gotten out of the shower and have a fresh hair, fresh hair day. Anyway, I thought I'd just do a little quick one here today. Stampede kicked off on Friday, so Calgary's its usually insane self. Uh, doesn't help a lot of the, the individuals I deal with, but uh, Stampede is always just one crazy time in Calgary. Most Calgarians I know uh, get out of the city during Stampede. So I want to get back to talking a little bit about independence again. I have a, a few morning routines uh, that I practice every morning just to uh, get myself going for the day and that includes reading uh, a number of uh, online newspapers that I subscribe to CBC News World, uh, The National, The Globe, The Sun, uh, things like this. I even look at the Calgary Herald every now and then. Uh, not one of my favorite papers but I do check it out every now and then. Uh, besides reading the news stories, I also like to read the comments just to see where, you know, what people are thinking out there in this great country. Uh, and it's not uncommon for me to add my comments as well. Fortunately, over the last while, I'm getting more and more negative comments uh, against anybody that's uh, anti Harper. You know, um, they don't even have to be anti-Harper. They just have to uh, not support something Harper has said. And the hate and loathing that comes out is scary. But one of the things that's consistent is, and it's about 25% of the commenters, anybody that uh, supports or, or, or uh, promotes uh, what they consider a social program automatically fall into the leftist, lazy leftist, socialist, and sometimes uh, fascist is thrown in there as well, which I don't understand because I can see it being thrown the other way, but not this way. But their their knowledge of social programs, from from my perspective, is obviously very limited. Uh, they see, based on the, the way you read the comment. Uh, it would strike me that most of these people uh, think of social programs as welfare and welfare alone. And it goes way beyond that, people. You, you need to understand that. You know, just so you have a really good grasp of this, social programs go beyond, um, well, they, they go beyond the disabled. They're for everybody. What do you think inspection services are? How do, you know, what do you think highway improvements are? Uh, what do you think water flow between provinces are? And all of those things are monitored. Uh, these are all regulatory issues, but they're things we pay for. Are those socialist programs? Uh, because if they are, you don't really care about safety. But they're not. They're, they're part of our social safety net uh, to make sure that all Canadians are, are kept safe. Uh, inspection services are on the decrease, and yet natural catastrophes are on the increase. The flooding in Manitoba this year was made worse because of a faulty uh, meter. And I would lay a bet dollars to donuts that uh, the water inspection through Environment Canada has probably been cut to the bone. I don't know for sure. I do know, I do know air regulations, the... Uh, our regulations inspectors have gone from about 1,400 down to about 800 over the last 8 to 10 years. You know, planes are aging. Now is not the time to be cutting something like air regulation inspectors. Regardless, those are type, those are some of the social programs that are out there in Canada. Uh, those aren't designed for that lazy leftist couch potato. Those are designed for the safety of everybody in Canada. So let's uh, put to bed this whole concept that social programs are just for welfare. They're not. Uh, so get over that part. And for the record, 
I'm not one of those people that's screaming uh, leftists, low lives, all of that type of crap. I just want to make that clear. I don't buy into that crap. Uh, I only raise that because that seems to be the argument a lot of these less informed far right wingers fall upon is uh, you know you're you're a whining leftist who uh, has this sense of entitlement that you feel is being taken away from you. That's that's not what a social program is about at all. So uh, get over that. Get past your hate and start looking at what some of these social programs were designed to do. Uh, that doesn't make us socialists, as, as you like to point out. To me, what a social program is that you you team. You seem to demonize uh, a lot of the the posters on these news stories. Um, is mistaken for programs that were designed to treat people equitably. Uh, prime example right now of that would be gas. A lot of individuals I know they need full service station. They can't get out of their vehicle and gas up. They either can't reach the pump, their hands won't grip it, um, this type of thing. Full service gas stations are disappearing. One of the things the feds did many many years ago to uh, try and even that little issue out was uh, I, I can submit for a gas rebate once a year. I mean when you go to a full service station you're paying two or four cents more a liter. You may not have a choice. You have to go to that type of station when you can find one. Okay, I I I do have a choice. I can I can haul my wheelchair in and out. It's it's not always that easy, but you know, life isn't always easy. Uh so I I generally use self serve and I have a, a good station right by me where they where they help. But I could when they see me drive up, they'll come out if they're not busy. But I could I could, I can. I don't uh, put in my annual application to the feds for my gas rebate, uh, which when I used to do that was two to three hundred dollars a year. I would get back not a lot of money, but still. But the paperwork has become so complicated to do that; it's really not worth my time. So I don't bother with it anymore. But that's one of the programs we're talking about. Uh, it's become a type of program that creates more jobs for those running the program than those that are benefiting from it. But that's making that's that's making the playing field even for everybody. That's the way I like to see it. Another example would be uh, my wheelchair. Now these are costs the average person doesn't have to absorb. Uh, a lot of people with, dis with physical disabilities have to absorb those costs, but there are programs that you would like to call social programs, uh, but they're really there to, to help us maintain independence. As I said, I've always worked, uh, I've never been on income assistance, but I have had to use some of these programs. In Alberta, I can get uh, $1,250 every five years, I have to, to apply for it, of course, uh, towards a new wheelchair. Now, a wheelchair will not last me five years. It'll last me about three years. But that's beside the point. Uh, in, but I can, through the Age of the Daily Living program, get 25% of the basic cost of my wheelchair back. This chair costs $4,800 here in Canada. If you go to the Sunrise Medical Supplies website, which is in California, this same chair costs $2,800. I'm not able to order it on my own because I'm not a licensed distributor. So I have to go through a wheelchair company in Calgary to get it. They then order it from Sunrise in California. Uh, at $2,800, well, I don't know if that's really what they're paying for it, because somewhere between there and Canada, the price increased by almost $2,000. It's uh, considered a, a medical uh, tool, so it has to clear special customs. $2,000 markup seems quite high to me. But it's also, in some ways, this wheelchair is like the F-35. Uh, that's $4,800 here in Canada. 
That doesn't count the thousand dollars I had to spend to put a, a rigid back on it. That doesn't count the five hundred dollars uh, for the three inch elevated cushion. And when you sit on your ass all day, you want the right cushion underneath you. And there's lots of different types of cushions. I refuse to believe it costs five hundred dollars to build a cushion. But the point is, that's what I'm charged for. It. So when everything is said and done, this wheelchair was actually seven thousand dollars. Now, how much of that is marked up? on the way to me is a good question. But those are the types of so-called so social programs that people are objecting to now. I'll tell you, without a wheelchair, I would have been on an income assistance program for the rest of my life and cost you a hell of a lot more money than what it has cost you to buy me the, to help pay for my occasional wheelchair. I uh, read a report 20 years ago now, well over 20 years ago now, and it holds true today where for every person with a disability out there holding a job, you can cut 30% off of their income for disability related costs. You know, so while you're making a dollar an hour, I'm only making 70 cents an hour. I don't think these programs are all that negative and are all, and they certainly do not stink of a lazy leftist couch potato. Those are the programs that keep me going in this world. And to a lot of the families I deal with, those are the programs that are going to maximize their child's potential for when they do become an adult. So hopefully they won't be forced into a life of basically servitude because most of the income assistance programs I'm aware of or traps. Once you're on it, it's hard to get off it because of the associated medical costs that are also covered. In Alberta, it's not the thousand dollars a month you get from AISH. It's the the comfort of knowing all your medication and, and tools are covered. So once you're on AISH, you're almost trapped there. Anyway, those are the programs we're talking about, folks. These are not uh, these are not welfare programs. These are programs that are there to help people reach their potential. So pay attention to what's happening around you. And for those that uh, think I'm a leftist, get over it. Anyway, uh, it's a really great day. Uh, the rains are supposed to hit tomorrow. Of course, it's Stampede Week, as I said earlier, so got to have some rain over Stampede Week. I'm going to go out and enjoy some of the sun now that my hair is dry and uh, see what's happening around the block. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good day. Talk to you later.